Assassin's Creed is one of the most acclaimed and successful franchises in the video game industry. Come with me as we go behind closed doors to see what it's like to bring Ubisoft's biggest brand to the biggest stage in gaming. What would you say to people who are looking at Assassin's mm. Creed a bit from the outside and thinking, maybe I should jump in, but maybe mm. it's I've missed too much? Everything that happened before in the brand happened, and we're assuming that, right? But it's a new start, it's a new narrative start, and that is symbolized by a completely new context for the present day. Now, you've seen a little bit of an evolution with Black Flag. We're not going to do the same thing. This is what we're doing with Unity is really the beginning um, um, for this new cycle of Assassin's Creed games. Because it's new, we can actually explain it properly because nobody's going to feel like it's redundant, right? Uh, so I would say that Assassin's Creed Unity is probably the best entry point for the franchise since AC1. So now we're May 1st, 2014. I guess that puts us uh, five weeks, give or take, uh, from E3. Yep. So um, what's what, looking forward, what's at the top of your to-do list? We have two things to do right now, is, is to, to finish the game and also try to work on, on uh, you know, marketing assets and, and try to start promoting the game and stuff. So our main priority right now is the E3 demo. Uh, we actually have two uh, in production right now. So uh, the good news is that most of the things that we're doing for these demos are also things that we need to do for the game, just to polish stuff and, uh, and have all the cool, the cool features ready. There's a bit of a stress involved, uh, I'd, be, I'd be honest, but I mean, we have such great material. We have such a great game that's coming out. And, uh, I feel really proud, actually, being able to show this. It's obviously the, the challenge for me personally is to make sure that it shows as well as it, as, as, as it is. I mean, it's, it's really a great, we have great material. We have great stuff. And I just hope that I'll be able to do it justice. As you know, the lead studio in Assassin's Creed Unity is Montreal. However, for a next-gen game of this size, Montreal is relying on the help of several other Ubisoft studios. We're here in Toronto to check out the cinematics, the co-op, and some of the demos that you're going to be seeing at E3. So let's go have a look and see how things are shaping up about six weeks before the big show. So we're bringing a very exciting co-op demo to show everyone uh, not only the new skills and, and things that they're going to be able to do with their friends, but uh, show the immersive world of Paris and show how well it's going to look and uh, what they can be excited to when the game ships. Uh, when you're doing cinematics for co-op, you're working uh, just by its very nature, you're working with a distracted audience because there's banter back and forth between the players. And uh, you know everyone's there for a reason, they want to get in and, and play a mission. So they don't, they don't want to sit around and, and sort of cut through tons of exposition. So the challenge for us was to deliver a lot of context and uh, a lot of story in a one minute period. What's the top of your to-do list for the next month? Uh, E3, <laughs> yeah. It was a great chance for my team to, to sort of come together and, 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 and push on something that could be taken to final quality and have you know a big, a big impact in terms of uh, strengthening E3 and, and stuff like that. So we're super excited. It's been a huge opportunity and a big learning opportunity for us as well because we're a relatively new team. We only started working on Assassins uh, about a year ago. Okay, so currently we're actually in the Montreal studio. Can we you, are, yeah. Can you tell me what we're doing here? Uh, well, I got a call on Friday afternoon basically saying that we had to do a, um, I wouldn't call it an emergency, but we had to have a, an immediate uh, review on E3. For sure, it's amazing to, to secure the, the Microsoft stage, um, but if we want the co-op demo on the stage, it means we have to trim two and a half minutes off our current version. So that's actually a big reason why I'm here today as well, is to figure out how do we cut two and a half minutes out of our demo to fit into their, their five minute window. You know, it's, it's been going well, but of, of course it's, it's always, you know, the, the last few weeks you're, you're looking at all the little opportunities to polish and, you know, get that, those, those wow moments. We really want to go into E3 and, and have the demo of the show. You know? So it's, uh, it's exciting but stressful at the same time. Well, it's a few minutes uh, before the show starts and um, uh, it's the calm before the storm. I think everybody's in Zen mode.
afternoon. It is the dawn of the 19th century, and Paris is at its darkest hour. Come see us at the booth for a lot more, and have a great E3. Good job.